I'm making a road for Brian. Brian's gonna make a road for me. That's what's happening. That's you pretty, actually yeah. That's the video. Sent that bug in the mail. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all you said. But you know what? <laughs> that's it. That's you the end. <laughs> Thank you to Stare for sponsoring this video. So first thing, gotta figure out what I'm going to make. So Denzel's rug frame is 36 by 52, so I need to figure out if I want a landscape portrait. I think I'm gonna do portrait and do like a little like lion tiger something or something or other. Good, that sounds like a real good plan there, Brian. Yeah. Also, that nose is like a perfect little yin yang sign. Yin yang. Um. Anyways. So I thought it'd be cool to, whoa, that eye is staring at me, that soulless dead eye, what is going, uh, I thought it'd be cool to do like kind of a traditional, like American trad, tattoo-ish looking style for this, but then to like put my own spin on it, I was going to do like a cartoon eye or something, or to make it no, different, for my own, and that is, I'd do half of it, and then Denzel could like do the other half, I'm curious to see what he does. I know that like this would be perfect for like his style of like his beast that he makes or like his his uh, lion type stuff. It'd be really, really cool. But I thought another idea that maybe do is like do something hollow and then like have his planes coming out or something could be cool. Or maybe if you finish the other half with a cute little butterfly. I don't know. I'm excited to see what he does. But I'm gonna do that left side of that face. But I need to figure out what kind of cartoon eye I want to put on this. This little lion, tiger. It's not a lion, it's a tiger, you silly, silly boy. I want it to be like, kind of like old school, like, what was this? This would be like your, like, I don't know, 50s cartoons with the, like, little chip out of the eye, the iris. But also with, like, a lot of little tiny little detail, which reminds me of, like, I don't know, Adventure Time or something, but I like it. So let's go ahead and draw that in there. I feel like a lot of times in, like, these uh, American traditional tattoos, the tiger, it's not a tiger. Why do I keep on saying tiger? Oh, no, it, <laughs> it is a tiger. Hey, guess what? I've been up for 24 hours now. We're doing great. I took sample colors and then I took a picture of it so I could go get a, the yarn from the store. And to finish my thought, oh man, I don't know if I have time to finish my thought. Basically, I feel like American traditional tigers usually look angry and I want it to look like the kind of question word guy. But what I'm doing here is I measured out 30 inches because that's, I feel like, a safe size for Denzel's frame. And I broke it up into four sections, and then broke up my picture into four sections so that I could do the cute little grid thing. Wow, that's so cute. Oh, oh, grids are so cute. I tried drawing, like, the reverse image, and that was just a pain. So instead, I just was going to draw exactly what I drew on the paper, drawing that left side of the face onto there. And I'll explain a little bit, a little bit later why did that... Then also, I took this 2x4 and put some tack strip on it because I have this big old frame that I used in my last video, two videos ago. But I don't need it that big, so if I figured if I took a little 2x4 and drilled it in there, I could section off this big frame to make one smaller little frame. So I want that left side to be the side with the loops that are sticking out, so I'm going to put that on the back side of this frame stretch out the monk's cloth onto my frame and now I just need to get that image onto that front side so I can see what I'm doing so from the back side I just took a blue marker and kind of started drawing on more or less what I thought it should look like oh and then did the details with that pink is that pink purple I feel like it's pink and mixed with blue it makes purple wow Ooh, color theory what is this a color theory channel Cool. Um, what? So I just drew the details in as good as I could. They're on the back side. And I don't know why, but the mix of like that pink and blue, purple and blue, mm, sure, is really nice. It looks kind of like 3D looking. But anyways, with that on there, I'm good to go. No, not yet. I need to get that image onto the front side. So I come from the front. Oh, actually, wow. See that? 44 ounce of Diet Mountain Dew. I'm living on caffeine right now. Ooh, that's great. But I took a black marker and fixed up some things on the back so that I could see through. 
then come on the front and trace it out. And it's kind of hard to tell. I think here in a second. Yeah, I do. What, what was that? Was that a hiccup? I'm gonna pull this light over so you can see what I'm going to be doing. So that's nice. Wow. I'm not gonna say wow one more time. But off camera, I tested my loop and cut pile gun, and it just wasn't getting the consistency that I wanted. And so I ended up using Ainsley's little loop pile gun again, and I didn't like, like I was gonna do the orange color first, but I thought, nah, let's do the outline. I think that's gonna make it easier if I do the outline first, because if I do all the color first, I feel like it's gonna be hard to see where I'm going. So it gets a little messy from the front side. But I, yeah, I think that's, that's probably going to be the best way to do it. I feel like it is. Doing your outlines first and then the colors. So anyways, you can combat me with this if, you, if you've done that the other way. But this just seemed like it was going to be easier. So with all the outlines all done, I started filling in the color. Did this white. I want to do like a blue highlight in a lot of the white spots. And so I just went through with the blue first. And then went over that top of it with a white. Hoping that's gonna like kind of fade and it, it worked pretty well if I did like little just like strips of the blue and then came in with like strips of the white and by strips I mean lines kind of like if I were to shade it with lines does that make any sense am I making sense honestly so this is the first time actually making a rug like the last time I didn't really do much of the tufting and I found out quickly that I don't like I don't know like rotating the gun I only liked going upward or like from right to left and so a lot of my time was spent like taking scissors and cutting it after I made each little pass so that took me forever you're gonna take a lifetime to make this rug but it turned out really cool I was really stoked with the ending so I'm not upset with the time I put into it um what was that um are you bro bro are you are you okay are you are you good I feel like I'm losing it. And you're gonna hear it a little bit later in like the ad read, I'm doing a live show here in like an hour. <laughs> Just a, a cute little show, a live show with Denzel. And I've been up for forever, so that, that could be fun. That could be entertaining. Ooh, but to explain what I'm doing, I'm just filling in the orange, filling it in. And once again, I tried to blend it in with the white there on the left side. And if you come here from the front, it's a mess. I'm a mess. So to hold it in place, there's this rug glue that you can get from like Lowe's or Home Depot. And it's like fairly cheap. I think that entire bin, I'm not gonna say bin, that entire thing was five bucks. What, what is that? Is it a bucket? A cup? It's a, I feel like it's too small to be a cup. No, too small to be a bucket, too big to be a cup. How come I'm, I can't think of this word? Hi, my name is Ryan. I should sleep. Do, 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 do. Not the best thing. Yeah, cardboard wasn't the best choice there, but it got the job done. And so I let it dry overnight, came back, and I wanted to cut the loops so that it was more of a cut pile. Because I know Denzel was going to do a cut pile, and I wanted it to have some uh, cohesiveness, I guess. Although, I think it would be cool if like there was like an obvious separation, and there will be just because of the style. But I couldn't figure out what would work. I went to the store and bought these dog shears because I thought... I mean, I feel like sheep shears would work, and dogs are kind of sheep. Dogs aren't sheep. Hey, dogs aren't sheep. But before we try that out. All right, so, huge thank you to Sarah for sponsoring this video. And, so if you don't know, Denzel is all the way in London. And I'm here in Utah. And so one thing cool is we're gonna be going live and chit-chatting on stereo. So you can click the link in the description, sarah.com slash food, to download the app. And we're gonna be going live a little bit later today, March 12th, and tomorrow, March 13th. And if you're late to the video, you can actually go on there and watch past ones. But what you'll be missing out by not watching this live is you're actually able to send these cool little voice messages, which I love. I think it's really cool. Hey, do you want to um, look at some of these uh, comments real quick? Yeah, let's look at them. Hey, um, I just want to say that I feel the existential crisis thing. Thank you. Um, Denzel actually went live a couple days back where he basically was my therapist. It was really nice. <laughs>
I can't because tell you. I feel like you're my, my therapist right now. This is nice. I'm gonna start <laughs> like we're just gonna start doing these stereo talks, and I'm just like gonna talk to you about my life. You're gonna give me some some nice advice. I'll feel better. <laughs> Let's do it, bro. I'm down. And you can follow me there and hit the notification button to stay in the know how for any upcoming shows. So cool. All right. Let's see if this works. So here we go, dog trimmers, and it just was not working. Maybe a razor would work? And no. I think I'm gonna have to go with my tried and true with scissors, these tiny little scissors. There's no way. There's no way that I'm gonna do this on the whole piece. That would take years. Hey, haven't you already taken too much time on this project already? No, no way. Let's just... Ended up using those, uh, like my face trimmer right there. And it really was just a mix of using that and scissors to get the job done. And I mean, it took forever. I don't think that, I, I, I'm pretty sure sheep shears would be my best bet. But if you don't have those, I know they cost like 300 bucks or more. You can do this, it just takes forever. So it just depends on how much time you wanna put into your cute little rug. If you just wanna leave it a loop pile, I'm sure it's gonna look great. But I was determined. So with that, I just vacuumed them on off. And the last thing I wanted to do was add the tiny little details of like the whiskers and the hair. So I came from the front side and just drew them on right over the rug glue. I thought maybe I could use the rug gun. And because I had trimmed it down, that maybe like the loop pile would stick out and look really cool. So I tried it out with the old rug gun and look from the other side and nope that did not work so then i thought okay maybe i don't know what i did that because i can't remember oh i just tried it again i'm like maybe since i did it once maybe it'll work this time nope and so then i thought okay what if i tried it from the front side and then i would just have like stitching and i wish i would have shown you from what it looked like but it was a mess and then i tried it one more time with my cut pile gun and that didn't work so Going back to my roots, going back to what I know best, good old embroidery. So we're just gonna embroider these little details in. So I embroidered those whiskers in. And I think it was like, this is such a weird stitch, I don't even know what it was. I did one long one to kind of get the line as straight as I could and then went across it. I kind of went through it like it was like kind of a split stitch along that entire big long strip just holding in place. And on this one I did just kind of do a split stitch and it thought it looked pretty good. I wish I would have doubled up the yarn right there, and maybe I will go back now before I send it out to Denzel and make those a little thicker. Yeah, I think I will. But I did double up the yarn on these ones that are going along the outside just to give it a little bit more bulk, and I'm just realizing now that it's gonna be a pain to make the board around, so I'm curious to see what Denzel does with that. Sorry, sorry about that, Denzel. Kinda made that job a little harder for you. <laughs> and then the last thing I did was actually do little French knots to do the little details in the, what part of the tiger is this? Help me, what is that called? I'm not gonna look it up. I know someone's gonna look this up and be like, Oh, Shamud, you silly, silly boy. That's called the smears on the whiskers of all feline animals. The smears, smears. I'm, I'm losing it. It's fine. But yeah, that was the last thing I did. Really stoked on how this turned out. And now all I need to do is send it off to Denzel. So cool. And get some sleep after I do that live show. Hope to see you guys there. See, I guess I'll hear you guys. All right, so be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell notification. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for our patrons.